Yeah, we live there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can. Yeah. I open up.
So right. he have many, many ways to destroy. You know? Uh, this, is, this is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 12. He said, Therefore I will number you to the sword, and you shall bow down to the slaughter, because when I call, you did not answer. And when I speak, he did not hear. You know? <laughs> but that evil yeah, they can. How they can bow down? Because they don't no means... Uh... Uh, help, they can't help themselves, so they're gonna, they're gonna bow down to the slaughter. They're gonna, they're gonna, wherever I'm to them, they're gonna take it. There is no, there's no, nobody can deliver them. They, gotta, they didn't take heed of the trumpet, they didn't, they didn't take heed, they didn't listen to the message. You know, yeah, um. Maybe back in um, Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 3, he said, if when, if when he see the sword coming upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. This really, this really meant, this really meant that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh doing across the globe, blowing the trumpet and warning the people, telling the nation like, yo, hey, repent, turn back. You understand? Telling the disobedience ones are going to be destroyed, they're going to be taken with these plagues. They're going to bow down to the slaughter. You understand? Telling these Edomites that the future is what? Slavery and then total annihilation. Right? Revelation 18, give them double. And, 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 one, and, and one and 18. You understand? That these Edomites are going to be destroyed. Not going to see them ever again after a thousand years of slavery. Obadiah. Okay. And all these other heathen nations, they're going to be perpetual servants and, and us. Right? He said, verse 4, and then whosoever hear it, the song of the trumpet, and take it not warning, if the sword come and take it him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So they hear this trumpet, and a lot of, a lot of Israelites ain't taking warning. They're no business, they're okay. They ain't taking warning. So when, when the sword come, when this destruction come, and you get you, 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 taken, your blood will be on your own head. They're gonna be they're gonna be a they're gonna be a judgment for being what hard hard hearing, hard is as you say in the Caribbean, your hard is are you hard of hearing? You understand? And, and I want to add and that's the ad that why the men of the Lord, you know, who we believe we are the men of the Lord by faith, we really have no excuse, you right. know, because we have to go out there and warn the people, you know, the most I can possess knowledge. You know, so that way we can see we, we actually living in the last days. Good. You know, we actually see the sword coming because the most high set us up as watchmen. You yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, verse uh, 5, he said, He heareth the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. So the ones, the ones who take warning, listen to what the men of the Lord saying, and and hide yourself, hide yourself in the sanctuary of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They ain't gonna be delivered. Yeah, the sun is so not gonna overtake them. They know what the rest, the two thirds of you should can be good like in the Great American in there. The soul, the soul gonna overtake you. They are gonna bow to the slaughter because you didn't take warning. The sun the enemy coming, I didn't take warning. Yeah. Can can. And as as we were saying earlier, um, the, the fate of this kingdom is far sealed. You know, it can turn back because the Most High actually speaks uh, and speak, um, speak it forth from days of old. And you know, the scripture said, "It's we don't, don't return unto him void." So that is why we out there, you know, we, we out there given warning, we out there given the, the, the water of life. The spring of life, Good. because the Messiah is actually going to start uh, the close of the door of repentance. Right. When the, when the, what the prophecy is being fulfilled and and, and what the news, you know, is, is is nation rising up against nation right now. Good. You know, that's going on in a long while, a, a very long while now. So that is to show you how close we are at the end. You know, the, even spiritually, the, the brothers actually waking up across the globe. You know, that, and that is a, a prophecy before the scripture said, um, you know, the, the words shall be preached around all the world. 
and then the end shall come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. son. So all this is events. All this is the current events are actually going on. You know. That one period. This is um. Baruch. Yeah, this is a uh, Baruch chapter. This is Baruch chapter two verse um. Let me see. Uh, Baruch chapter two verse twenty nine. If he if he will not uh, not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into him. Small multitude among the nations, where I will scatter them. He said, For I know that they will not hear me, because it is a stiff naked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. Can. Can. Yeah. Verse 31, he said, And shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, their power, for I will give them a heart and a ears to hear. And that's the Holy Spirit. Okay. And those I put it on the, on the men that we see now, they will sign a cry. And this brother said, there's, 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 there's a prophecy that's fulfilling it. There's, there's a current event that's happening. And what? Well, in the land of the captain, they remember themselves. Remember to me who the Israelites, the sons of the Mosai. You understand? Can. I please say yeah. Yeah. This this is um this is John chapter fourteen, verse twenty six. Because um the brother said the most I will give us the Holy Spirit again. Yeah. You know, because we once had we once had it because Israel is a people yeah. near unto him. So we so we knew our power, you know. And due to due, due to um sin and rebellion, the Mosai actually take his face away from yeah. us. But now in the last days, the, the prophecy is that his sons and his and, and, and his daughters are, are gathered by the word. Well, the sons are gathered by the word. Yeah. And it's a prophecy for itself. You know, this is John chapter 14, verse 20, um, 26, to the point. He said, but the comforter, which is, the, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Yeah. Whatsoever I said unto you. So that the Holy Spirit actually enters into us and bring back our, our um things to our remembrance. Yeah. Knowing that who we are as people, you know, we are the Israelites, we are the sons of the Heavenly Father. So we have to behave and act like sons of the Heavenly Father. You know? Yeah. And things that we know that we are uh, our Bashem is our power. That the main main thing we're supposed to know. We're That's supposed right. to know who, who is our power, who is our rock. That's you right. know, especially this the time and the season that we are living in, you know, because when they when they kind of when they imagine the destruction coming to this place, it's better not. It's better to be on the side of your how about some your side. Yeah, yeah, God, the harvest is ripe. It's time to reap. It's time yeah. to reap. The wickedness is ripe in this place. It's time to reap up this place. You know, it's time for this place to get judged. God, the said, yeah, the harvest is ripe. You understand? Sins, sins reach unto the heavens. Okay. That one for you. There's Ezekiel 37 and 1. He said, The hands of the Lord Yahweh was upon me and carried me, carry me out in the spirit of the Lord Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley, which is full of bones. And this is what he's talking about the miracle. Right, which is full of bones. All right, the bones, the bones is the old house of Israel. I can tell you, right? Verse 2 and caused me to pass by them from the boat. And behold, they were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. That means when Israel fell away, you know, we was in a de dead state. Dry bone, we were a dead state. Fun. Right? Fun. It it tell you, Jeremiah, that we can discount you from our heritage. And that's why we was in a dead state, not knowing who we is. Right? Let me get that. Right? That's why we was in a dead state, because we were calling ourselves black, calling ourselves African, 
think that you are Jamaican, Asian, Guyanese, St. Lucia, Englishman, American, African American. You know, all the different by what we call himself because we was in a dead state. Right? This is Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Yeah, to be discontinued from our heritage. So why we were in a dead state. A dry bone state. Uh, you understand? Right? Um, back in um, Ezekiel 37 and 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answer, O Lord, power thou knowest. Verse 4. And again, he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones and say, and say unto them, O he dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Bashem. This is what we doing. We are mm -hmm. probably prophesying against these dry bones. Tell me, hey, yo, you're black. You're no Christian. You understand? You're no, um, you're no, you're no Muslim. You're no, you're no, no, no African. Um, you understand? There's no Trinidad here. You see, Trinidad, Israel, we prophesying upon these dry bones. Tell them who they is. Fan. Fan. And they say that, and I didn't have any father, and I didn't have any father work, you know, being, being um, fulfilled. His word is being fulfilled. You know, he prophesied unto these bones. And now we all day on the highways, on the highways, you know, weekly, you know, doing these videos, doing these sit downs. They prophesied. They prophesied unto the bones. You know? Good, good. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, verse, um, verse 5. Thus said the Lord Yahweh power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and he shall live. Yeah, the breath, the breath is what the wisdom that you understand in the Holy Spirit. This is the most high, this is the same bread that the most high um, let into Adam and he lived. You know, the, the breath was the breath was the, was, was the ordinance of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You understand? Right? He said, um, verse 6 And I will lay sin you upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and crown you with skin, and put breath in you, and he shall live, and he shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And this is, why I see, this is why I see Israel now get back the skin. They get back the identity. You understand? They, back, they, know, that, they know that there's Israelite. Right? You understand? They change the whole, they change the whole way how, how, how they used to live. From, from, from living as a beast, now they're walking, trying to walk upright to the best ability before the eyes of Yahweh Hashem You understand? And the most I see the cars of breath, the most I hear the Holy Spirit, which is this wisdom that you understand it. This is the only way how you're going to live. The guy telling um, Proverbs 21 and 16, I get that. If you get anything, I can bring it, if you get anything, then. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'm, that's the after what the brother is saying is that the, um, the, the wisdom and understanding of the scriptures, that is, our, that is our life, you know, which is your house, shy. And we need that breath to live. Good. We need that breath to live. You know? Because it's all going back to what? To them back to the Heavenly Father. At Good. the end of the day, it, because it's all about Him, you know? From, you know, one of His titles is Everlasting to Everlasting. Good. It's about us. It's all about Him. You know? Good. I got this one for you, Lee. This yeah. is um, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You understand? So if you if, if you got this breath to you, which is the which is the Holy Spirit, which is the words of Yahweh Shem you that you use a dead man. You understand? You are walking dead. You don't know who he is. You know you just dead. You don't you you got no clue who he is. You understand? You don't know you don't know what's your purpose. You don't know why you're existing. You don't know who's your creator. You know you're dead. You understand? You're reprobate. You're void of you're void of understanding. You understand? Yeah. Because because even as that's the art of what the brother is saying is that 
you, you can test it on these uh, on these zombie bones out here, these zombies yeah. bones out here, because who really who really prophesy any downfall of this kingdom? Yeah. You know, when they ask somebody who they is, they don't even know, they don't even know their identity. Yeah. You know, so far, so far, that's for the prophecies. Because everything everything is a puzzle, the most I put it as a puzzle and we put the pieces together. Right. You know? Have yeah. a piece of the back here. Yeah. Yeah. The Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. He said that this is the book of the commandments of the Heavenly Father and the law that en endureth forever. So this will endure it forever. Yeah. You know? All they that keep it shall come to life. You know, so so, so the breath of life is being entered into some of the bones. Good. You know, and there are very, a very few bones actually waking up. Very few. Good. You know, but such as live, it shall die. Good. Is it in the old Jacob and take hold of it? So that what we're doing, we're taking hold of it. You know, from the apostles and elders come down. You know, we 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 are not always in a dry state. You know, Good. but we hear the word, and you know, and we believe. So we actually wake up. So we turn. And we hold on to it, you know. Yeah. It's a walk in the presence of the light thereof that thou base be illuminated. So we, we so we um your is the light and your house is in us, so we represent the light. Yeah. You know, because we live in. We are the light. When I when I when I when I hear the word light, it really it, 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 it really symbolizes life. Yeah, yeah Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, back in uh, Ezekiel 27 and um, 6 he said and I will and I will lay seed you upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and he shall live and he shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh verse 7 so I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a noise and behold the shaking of the bones came together, bones, bones to his bones, and this and this the um this is tribes just coming together. Okay. You know, you see in different camps they will got they will got they will they will got Judite, they will got Benjamite, Levite, they will got Issacharite, they will got Gadites, Rubenites, Manessanites, they will got these diff diff from different different tribes. You will see, you will see different camps. Yeah, the sound is bones. Me, bone, me, or a, a family, a relative. Yeah, the sound is what the bones represent. Can, can. Right? He said bones came together, bones to bones. Right? And uh, so it, it, it's the camps that we're seeing across the globe. You yeah, understand? He said, and when I and when I beheld, lo, the sinew and the flesh came upon them, and skin covered them above. But there was no bread in them. So the God had the Israelite out. They know that Israelite, but what? they don't have the Holy Spirit, which is the bread. They don't have the understanding. You understand? They know that's Israelites. You know? Can, can, they can. Don't that, they, don't, they don't understand what's really going on. What's really going on? What this thing is all about? You understand? This is this 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 is this 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 is prophecy. This was already written. It's not just playing out now. It's yeah, playing out now, can, can, can yeah, I? This, this is not no joke. Yeah, the sound is this shit about to go down in this place. You know, son, we about to rule. You know? So a lot of Israelites out there know this Israelite, but they don't have the breath, they don't have the understanding. All right? He said, verse 9, then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus said the Lord, power. Come from the fourth wind for breath and breathe it upon these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as, as he command command me, and breath came into them, and they live and stood up and stood upon their feet, and the exceedingly great army. And there's the camps, these spiritual army. You understand? Because what we use it, we're using a sword, which is what the Bible, the only scripture. Yeah, this is the men that have, have the, will, the wisdom that understand it. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, stand up on the feet. You understand? Know, prophesying. You understand? Know, prophesying upon these dry bones. These dry bones are you Israelites. Right? 
Yeah. Can, can, right can. In line. Yeah, because the army, as the brother said, this is a spiritual army. You know? Have a piece of this to back up with that one time right. there. This is um this is um one of my favorite precepts. This is Amos. Amos chapter 9, verse 11. You see, in that day will I raise up the tabernacles of David that is fallen and close up the beaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. You know, so that the tabernacle is not right now, that the army, the spiritual army. You know? And the Mosai, at the end of the day, the Mosai has spoken it from, from, from past tense. You know? Just after right. that, this is um, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 21, straight to the point. He said, Tell he and bring them and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together. Who had declared this from ancient time? Who had told it from that, that time? From that time, have that I the Lord your power, and there is no power besides me. A just power and a savior. There is none besides me. You know, so it's yeah. to, to declare the destruction from the beginning, to declare everything from the beginning. Right. You know, you, you know the brothers waking up, the camps waking up. He declared that from the beginning. You know. Right. <clears throat> And he and he and he and he said yeah, that they, brother, yeah, uh, brother, yeah, what's up, say shalom. Hey, shalom, shalom, ah, shalom, shalom. Brother, yeah, what's up, brother? Hey, look out, look out, say shalom. He said shalom. I hear him calling. I hear Yeah, because the um, yeah. it, 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 all, it all goes back to the to uh, the um the, the the current events, you know, because you have to understand the season that we're living in. This is not no joke, yeah. as a brother. This is not play. This is life or death. At the end of the day, this is life or death. This is the most I will be dealing with. You know, this is the word we dealing with. Yeah. Tell you about to come, you know, the destruction of this place. And we see it, we see in a um, place like Hong Kong, you see our bro, place like Kaz um, uh, this place, um, uh, it's Kazakhstan, I think it's Kazakhstan. Yeah, this time you see various parts in, in the um, in the um, in, in the land of Ham, these various tribes, different um, uh, so called African um, uh, continent, you see it up road. France go there for a while in the UK, different parts of America, even in the Caribbean, eh? you see the of people. people. Yeah, the same even in, even in South in South America, you see it throughout Venezuela, Brazil, Argentina. I think it can be about to collapse. Can you yeah, understand? About about to collapse. We see we see what going on in Venezuela with all these all these sanctions America put on them. Right? We see what going on in Colombia, Chile. And all this place, right? Dominican Republic, right? See what's going on in this place. You see the level. You see the level of wickedness in this island that we live in. Trinidad Tobago. This place wicked, you know. So the most I go recompense. The most I gonna bring a recompense of the earth because what? The the most I say. The most I say. The uh, there is no truth. There is no um, equity, and there's no knowledge of him in the earth. You understand? Man. So the most I gotta the most I gotta make himself the most I gotta make himself present. You know, they, 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 uh, the yeah, go ahead. Uh. Yeah, but that's one at what you're saying. Um the most I say um the earth is defiled under the inheritance thereof. You know, the whole world God. the whole world, the whole world line in wickedness. God. I bring it up now. Yeah, it's uh, but for the brother, brother from South Africa, yeah, what's up? It's uh, Isaiah 51, verse 1, and jump to verse 4. He said, 
He said, hearken to me, he that follow after righteousness, he that seek the Lord Yahweh. Look, he said, look unto the rock when he are when he are healed, unto the unto the hole of the pit when he are digging. Right, the rock, the rock is Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai. Yeah, the son, we got to look to this, that's who's going to deliver us. Right? Jump, he j- jumped up verse 4, he said, Arkin unto me, my people, and give ears unto me. Oh, he said, oh my nation, oh my nation, for a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest from the, from, from a light. For a light of the people, you yeah, understand, and the people is people who gonna you know, who gonna who gonna be who gonna be up in the last day. You know, they 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 gonna turn to the light, which is your house shine. You understand? Fun. You can read verse five two up, verse five and and meet in a two man. Okay. Okay. This is um, Isaiah fifty one verse five. He said, "My righteousness is there." My salvation is gone forth, and my and my arm shall judge the people. And this Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is the arm. He's going to judge the people. He said, the isles shall wait upon me, and on my arm, he said, and on my arm shall they, shall they trust. You understand? They can trust in Yahweh Shai. Right? He said, lift up, lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth. He said, be deep, for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and the heaven is this rulership. This current Time. system is they're gonna this system gonna vanish away. You understand? He said, and they that dwell therein shall die in the like manner, but my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Understand? So the most I'm about to bring the judgment, you know, they got the microchip, they got the, they got the ICBM missile, Thanks. and you've seen a lot of sight in the, the chariots, right, in the charity of the salvation, we go to the Israel, so we're going to deliver the elect, we're wow. so going to destroy this, this current kingdom, you understand? Right? Done. Ah, so you are about to come. Uh, we get this one in the sun because they tell you, they tell you, I wish I'm gonna bring, yeah, I wish I'm gonna save the people. Can right, he bring on destruction also salvation at the same time? You know, uh, this is uh, this is this is Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 7, Behold, he comes with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Yeah, this is our Lord. He comes with the chariots. You know the clouds, the, char- the clouds is the chariots. It Ten. is Psalm 104, verse 2. Talking about, talking about the, the, the chariots. Right? He said, and they, they, he said, and they also which pierce him. So it's two centurion. Roman soldier who fears you how we shine. They're back here today. They are the God right now. And let's go prove that we reincarnation. You know? Okay. Right? He said, And all kindred of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, so that you be sitting a wail. You yeah, understand? The they can be afraid. He can we come with come with what? Come with healing in wing. And I see bringing the destruction is a balance. It's a balance. You understand? Uh, please have to back up. Yeah. Uh, this is Matthew 24. Verse 2. You say, um, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of the Heavenly Father in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth moon. God. You see, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And I, but that's a chariot, you God. know, because when it, when they think about it, on a, on a spiritual level, the world not really 
a, a, a normal human being not really they could they can assess seeing chariots like they can't even process it in their mind to see the sky is covered with chariots yeah. and i power like like plenty power yeah. and he shall send his angels with the great song of the trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other you know and i just yeah. back up the brother saying you know yeah. the most and salvation why he bring on destruction Good. say that in revelation too if you get that um, revelation, um, yeah this is uh revelation chapter 11 verse uh let me read uh, yeah, this is Revelation chapter 18. Uh, verse 4. It says, And I hear another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that he be not partaker of our sins, and that he receive not of our, our plagues. And this her is speaking to Babylon the Great, which is America. Right? And the most sighted the people come out come out of her, right? How they gonna come out? They're gonna be people up in those chariots, right? And the also the most I said, don't be partake of our plague. What's, what's America plague? Fire, yeah. the ICBM missile. Right? Uh, let me get it in um, Revelation chapter eleven, verse twelve. And I hear a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up thither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. So they are set up in those chariots, they be beam up in those chariots. Right? Just like just like with um, just like we with, with the um, with Elijah. When Elijah get beam up in the chariots, I forget that. You know, just for ed edification sake. See, see. That's exactly what I'm to the what I'm, what I'm to the elect. They gonna get beam up in those chariots. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Second Kings, uh, chapter two, verse eleven, and as it and, and as it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, they appear in chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both. And this was Eli Elijah, Elisha, right? He said, at both asunder, and Elijah went up. By a whirlwind into heaven, and yeah, the sons of the child I'm taking up. Yeah, the son, that's exactly what I'm going on to the elect. Yeah, the son was 12, and he light and Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel, and the horsemen they up, and he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothing. And rent them into pieces. So the chariots, the chariots of Israel will take up like Elijah. And that's exactly what to the elect. They're gonna be beam up in those chariots. Can who be all they're gonna be UFO? Right? Um, Revelation 11 and 12, and they hear a great voice from heaven saying unto them, saying, saying unto them, Come up thither, and they are setting up up to heaven in a cloud which is the chariot and the enemy beheld them yeah the enemy beheld them right easy easy that and even to turn our old people like the there was there was there was a maze of the strange um of the strangers of their salvation yeah the strangers of their salvation man, and, man. yeah you can bring those if you have, if you have it that yes sir uh, verse, verse 13 and the same hour was there a great earthquake and the tenth part of the city fell this is talking about America the great earthquake is what caused by those missiles the ICBM missiles right he said and the earthquake and in the earthquake were slay men slay of men 7,000 because <laughs> com complete complete seven yeah, thousand complete number Completion. Completion among the people that are going to be slain in America. Can. Right? He said, and the remnant were frightened and gave glory to the Mosai of heaven. The remnant is elect, will be delivered. 
they were frightened because they could have said the righteous scared to be saved. You understand? All right. So these is things were about to happen. You know, the children of Israel, the elect will be delivered by those chariots. We will really call you at This place is going to be destroyed by fire. You understand? <laughs> Yeah, because um, even even the elects are be quick, you don't know. Can. Because the the, 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 the destruction that, that that everybody going to witness, a man will have to be a man will be shaken, a man will be shaken. Can. Yeah. Even the elects are shaken. You know, the, that the only time that the only thing the elect will do in that day that's a crazy how about some other side that the only thing they can do. Can. You know. Yeah. I'm looking for a precept here in, um, I think it's Zachariah, buddy. Oh, 14. Yeah, the place. Yes. Yeah, yeah Zachariah, Zachariah 14. Yes, can. Yeah, because at the scripture I said, you know, the plagues. And the chariots, and the chariots represent plagues too. Yeah. You know, because there's a plague unto the unto the system, there's a plague unto this unto this wicked kingdom. Uh, Zachariah chapter fourteen verse start from verse one. It said, "Behold, the day of the Most High cometh, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee." For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses ravel, and the wife ravished. And half of the city shall go into captivity, and the, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Good. Uh, so then shall the Lord Yahweh go forth and fight against these nations as when he fought in the day of battle. You know, so when the when you actually notice in this and you actually see in this, every man has shall be shall be full of fear. Everybody right. will be quick. Okay. You know, because is, this is not no. This this is the heavens and the heavens. This is the everlasting from everlasting to ever. This is the Almighty actually, and His Son is actually coming back to to, to take down His kingdom. So right. everybody, everybody, you can't you can't escape from it. Okay. Cannot escape from the, the destruction to come. You know? Uh, let me jump. Get the 12. Yeah. Uh, Isaac. There in the Mosai Hawa will smite. All the people that fought against Jerusalem, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Mm. You know, and that the um, that the concentrated fire, you know, that the lasers actually coming out okay. all with, the new, new, with the nuclear missiles because the nuclear missiles are part of the Mosai army, too. You know. Yeah, so it's just pure, it's just pure destruction. The most I actually coming back with. That is, the brother now say, you know, the scripture said what the righteous, the righteous shall, shall escape, actually be saved. Right. Why? Yeah, so you know that why we do this work. That, that why we do the work. How are we going to escape when they read um second as just chapter nine, I think. Good. Yeah, that you have to be said. Good. <laughs> now, I get it real quick. Right. I, I don't want to quote it just so now, boy. <laughs> you know, that's that why we do this work because we, we actually see any terror. Right. You know, the most I pissed off right now. Everybody right. thinking uh, the, the, this thing is I game, the most I pissed off. Pissed right. uh, I, 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 I pissed off so for a Negro. You know, I pissed off. You know, this is this is the second address, chapter 9, verse 5. It says, For as it as for, for like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, you know. Let me jump to verse seven. He say, And everyone that shall be saved 
and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby we have believed. Right. You know? So so how we start off the video, we actually start off the video by saying we giving them the, the, the warning, you know, the water, the best at life, you know, what, what, which was actually given unto us because we believe. Right. We all said we need work. So we hoping to escape that terrible time, boy. Right. You know, you actually see it. He's so, he's so actually putting it all in the movies and then how, how it's going to be. How they, how they actually come into rule for you, Jake's. Yeah. Jake, 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 complacent, but and that's what, that's what, that's, that's what, that's what comfort is due to you. Comfort is getting lackadaisical, and that's why the most like teaching me a balance. One time, a brother might be on a little, he might have it, and next time he have it. You know, the road might be a little smooth, and next time the road might be a little bumpy. So you can always be, you can always be aware. Yeah, the sound shake too complacent in this place. That's why that's why they're gonna be taken. This is, um, Isaiah chapter 19, verse 1. The born of Egypt, right? The born of Egypt speaking about America. Right? America is spiritual Egypt, Revelation 11 and 8. Right? Spiritual Egypt and, and Saddam. Right? Isaiah 19 and 1. He said, The born of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. Is the chariot that you brother mentioned earlier? These people are already yet to phantom it within 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 themselves to see the sky, the sky take over with chariots. These people are gonna these people are gonna die from heart attack. What yeah. <laughs> the spirit gonna leave them? You understand? <laughs> right? Said, the, board, the board of Egypt, behold, the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall ride it upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And the and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at the present, and the heart of and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst thereof. In the mind, they're gonna bow the hell out when they see these things. When they see the whole sky take over with with, with, with so called UFO, right? Verse uh, jump to verse sixteen. In that day shall shall Egypt be like unto women. So even the mighty men. All these men out there will be like what well, women. You understand? They could be like women. Right? And it shall and, and and it shall be afraid. And it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hands of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushua Ghost, which he shake over it. Yeah, the different different plagues you can put on it. You understand? Yeah. Right? These men are going to be like, hey, it's what the most I said, the mighty men shall cry bitterly. Bitterly. <laughs> yeah. Right. I got one more day. I think we close up there. I got the presentation. We bring it time. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, they Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. You know, and they can read the whole whole priest, the whole chapter. It's yeah. not a beautiful chapter now, boy. Now start from verse 8. It says, And they shall be afraid, thanks and sorrow shall take hold of them. Good. They shall be in the pit uh, as a woman that travail it. They shall be amazed one to one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Messiah, how will come it crude, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Can. Yeah, Stay to the point. This will come in destruction. Yeah, the Spanish could have said destruction is coming and they shall not escape. Because when they ignore the trumpet, they hear the trumpet, they hear that what will happen, but they believe. Right? This is uh, this Zephaniah chapter 1, verse uh, uh, verse 14. He said, The great day of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is dear. It is dear and hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, the mighty men shall cry bitterly. <laughs> There's a time that we covered it too. They're going to cry bitterly. 
Yeah, you can. And it's destruction upon destruction upon destruction. No way you can run. No way you can hide. That's why the most I say, you are going to bow down to the slaughter. Because when he call, you are dead. You refuse. So you are going to bow down to the slaughter. Yeah, you are going to bow down to it. Nothing you have to do. Because when you refuse. Can. When you hear the trumpet, you are, you are, you are take no heed. So the most I say, the mighty, mighty men are going to cry bitterly. Right? Verse 15. That day is a day of wrath. The wrath of who the heavenly father. Hey, how you want to angry the heavenly father? Look at look at the technology of these missiles at the most time installed to these scientists' heads to build these missiles. Look at the detrimental these missiles to do. That's how you know angry is the most high. In one hour, America can be flattened, flat in one hour. You tell the angry the most high. Destroy the place in one hour. Boom. That's us. There's somebody who angry at this place. What? America is a, a, a very a very big vast piece of land. Eh? Yeah. A very vast land. So ready check it out. So yeah. to destroy all that power. This is my city. They can't. You yeah. can't tell it. You can't. You, you see, as I, as I said earlier, you can't phantom it. Yeah. All they have to do is just be fearful. Now it is just to say serve the most. Yeah. So fear and trembling. Eh? Because the power, the power that he coming back with, it has no, it has no, it has nothing that they can say. He's not coming back to talk. It has right. all the talking done. You know, all the talking right. done. Time when it, when the prophet's going to be shut up, that is it. All the talking done. Right. Now it's done. Right. Uh, verse 15, he said, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of waste, wasteless and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of, of clouds and thick darkness. There's, there's evil upon evil, distress, misery, sorrow, unhappy time. You don't have to delight in those days. This is, this is rather the most I can bring on this place because this with this, this with this kingdom so this kingdom so evil, and this where they can reap. They can reap distress, misery, sorrow, unhappy time, bad time. This where they can reap. Because it's with a soul. The soul of sexuality, the soul lesbianism, the soul, the, the soul, the soul lies, different philosophy, which is lies. You understand? Right? The soul, all these different um, I of worship, right? So these is things that this kingdom soul, so they're gonna reap with the soul. Can. You understand? Can. Well, it's, it's a, day, a day of trouble. An alarm against the French city and against the high tower. And I will bring distress upon men, and they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord Yahweh, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as dust. So you will see a great amount of dead bodies. You will smell it blood all over the place. The people are going to bug the hell out. You understand? You're going to see dead bodies upon dead bodies, dead bodies upon dead bodies, blood all over. And these dead bodies are going to go, they go, they go, they go, they cause a lot, of, a lot of airborne disease. A lot. You understand? A lot. So, yeah, it's distress me. So, yeah, serious times we had that. this too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. a lot of disease and a lot of plagues. Yeah. Yeah, the son. That was Psalms, the, 94, the, the 91st chapter, the coming to play. Right. And he that dwell in the secret place of the Heavenly Father. You know? Right. Yeah. That the only way, that the only way that they can be protected in that day. You know, jump high, jump low, straight to the point. You know, right. point blank, period. When the most I was calling, you refused. You know, you, you refused, so the most I going to refuse you. Damn. A lot of you, a lot of, a lot of people are going to die out here. And that, and that is just the reality. Yeah. You know, even, even, even back then when kingdoms was falling, it, it had a lot of death. A kingdom wouldn't fall just so. Damn. A kingdom never fall just so. Yeah. That quick one, this is a... Uh... Second Ezra's 
16 verse 22. Yes, yeah, second is just chapter 16 verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. Many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. You understand? And the others that escape hunger shall the sword this shall the sword destroy. So there's a lot of dead bodies. <laughs> seeing a lot and a lot of dead bodies. You're gonna be seeing most are gonna bring the hammer down. You understand? I see, brother, I was talking to Peter Bain. Second is just after 16, verse 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the bat to thy battle. And in those days, and, and in those evil days, be even as pilgrim upon the earth. And that's how we're going to be as pilgrim because all your so called comfort of your, of your apartment, of your house, your big couch, your big TV, your juice in the fridge, your own wine, your little barbecue, all this thing will be taken away. You understand? I don't think it'll be taken away when you got to be the rim of the earth in those evil days. You understand? So what I put a precept? Yeah, yeah. to what I put a precept. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's, that's straight to the point. That's a beautiful precept, straight to the point. And then know oh, everything right. has, and that, that why the scripture says arise and depart, but this is not the rest now, boy. You know? And that one man, a man, when right. man, you come into the suit and you wake up, in, you know, you wake up spiritually, you, you, you're actually living, but it's dead to this world, meaning that you right. have to live every day as a last then, because none of us really promise tomorrow. No? So, but by the right. time, by the year, we, we have to put forth our best foot forward for you, how about some you know, because he could take right. us out anytime. You understand? Anytime. anytime. So, even. Even, even, it has some brothers who will die before this. It has some brothers who will actually finish the course before this. Yes. So a man always has to be, you know, be, being ready to, to give up this world. And as the brother say, you know, your big culture and your big TV, your, your, your job, your money that is seeing. You have to give up all that, boy. That you have the yeah. purpose in them that, hey, that going and done with it, boy. The most I going to take with all that. You know? Yeah. Are you ready to the close of the? Yeah, so you know, you know, we hope this next present is fine. You know, to the brother from South Africa, brother, you know, to the precept of the support, you know. And we hope this next present is fine. We want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. Say, Bashem, Rakakodas. Give double honors to the apostles and elders who move well at great in school. And a blessed satisfaction to the Akiyom, to the folk and the earth, to push the gospel and sincerity to the truth. And shalom to the elect. Yeah, shalom, shalom.